Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got another gaming greats review today from the Black Series. We have Darth Maul Old Master. Really nice. Looking forward to this one. Um, yeah, he just sort of snuck out in uh, stores here in Australia. Um, he is retailing for a, a very high 55, but you got to pay that extra $10 for this fancy sticker on the side. That's a uh, that's that's a ten dollar sticker right there apparently. <laughs> so yeah, they're basing his appearance off Star Wars Battlefront Two. Um, basically, they gave him a skin um, on Battlefront Two um, called Old Master. Um, so it's not specifically designed on his appearance in Rebels, although it does match his outfit that he wears probably the most prominently. It's not by no means the most iconic outfit. Um, being the, it was sort of shirtless with the, with the hood. Um, and that's probably a version I would have preferred to be honest, sort of shirtless hooded, um, with the sort of strap across the chest. Um, either, yeah, either one of those would have, would have been cool, but this one's, you know, it's, it's designs quite simple. It's an easy one, uh, for Hasbro to sort of, to put out there as a new Darth Maul. It does come with a new lightsaber, which is nice. Um, yeah, it just says on the back here, a deadly agile Sith Lord Sinister Darth Maul was a formidable warrior and scheming mastermind. He wielded an intimidating double-bladed lightsaber and the power of the dark side. So he stands at 15.2 centimeters or six inches. He does come with his lightsaber. And I do like the image on the side. The box is a little bit, a little bit dinged in transit, but that's okay. But we're going to take a look at the figure. Um, I'm pretty happy with this one, to be honest. Is it perfect? No. No, it's not. But it's stuff more, and it's awesome. And that's all that matters. So let's bring him down to Funky Town. So yeah, I, I, I like the figure in comparison to the sort of comic one where he was shirtless. Uh, the red on this mole is quite vi more vibrant. Um, we're going to take a look at his lightsaber because that's, that's sort of a new part. Um, so again, by going with the Battlefront skin, they don't have to add all the additionals, uh, like the bottom of his cane, um, which would be awesome if you could just pop that out. <laughs> you could just pop that out in general, but no, like after that, be able to get, um, you know, be able to get the cane so you can, you know, have his old master walking stick. But yeah, both, both sides of the blade are... Unpeggable. They're not too bad. It's a cool hilt. I like it. It's nice to have him being able to, you know, having a Darth Maul with this, with this look. Because I dig it. But yeah, for the most part, uh, you know, I, 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 I like the figure. I think it's nice. Should be a little bit more light here. That looks better. I like the outfit. Um, Probably a more, they've reused the head from a couple of moles now. Um, I would probably rather just sort of a, a more sort of just stoic, non growly mole. I mean, this sort of works because it's, you know, he's fighting always. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's sort of, he's got the sort of arm pads. I think the whole bottom legs are the same as the uh, Clone Wars version that we got, the Season 7 Clone Wars, which is pretty much accurate as, as it is. Um, but I think we'd all love to see, you know, Maul with his duel with Ben Kenobi on, on Tatooine, where he meets his demise. Um, but this is still a, still a cool outfit. Um, yeah, when Ezra's having all of his visions throughout sort of season three, um, I think, and he's sort of dealing with, um, Maul being sort of a constant thorn in his side, no pun intended with the, uh, thorns, um, <laughs> he does appear in this outfit quite, quite often, so, for those saying it's, uh, it's inaccurate, it's not, it's just, not the one we probably would have preferred. Let's just say that. Um, but yeah, he's got, got his gloved hands. He does have all the articulation you could want. He does have the uh, butterfly joint in the shoulders there. So it is a, it is a nicely articulated figure, I will admit. 
but yeah, just a just a sort of I don't know. If you, I would like to make his face a little bit appear a little bit more gaunt. Um, you know, just I know it's probably mostly animation um, the way they sort of portrayed him, sort of looking a little bit frailer, uh, gaunt in the face. I would have preferred that in the figure though. But either way, a nice addition to the collection. It will definitely go on on shelf with the rebels when they eventually get set up here. But yeah, not a bad release at all for for the gaming greats. Just wish that ten dollar sticker tax was not a thing here in Australia. It'd be great. So yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please sound out down in the comments below. This one up your alley. I think most people will be into this. And a sort of a slight tweak of a couple of Darth Mauls, a little bit of a kit bash with a couple of new elements sort of just being here. And I assume these arms have been used elsewhere um, with the gloves, but I'm not picking where, so I've got no idea. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Let's, let's arm him up first before we uh, wrap up. I think we'd like to see a uh, solo mole as well. Yeah, nice one. Again, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. May the force be with you always.